On Thunderbirds, as well as mm. being the special effects supervisor, Derek also designed all of the main Thunderbirds craft, and what an amazing job that he did. Yes. I mean, Thunderbird 2 in particular, just a timeless classic. However, when it came for the, to the design for Thunderbird 5, he had a bit of a mental block. All right. I mean, fair enough after doing 1, 2, 3 and 4. I mean, they are stunning. It's hard to compete with those. Yeah. But uh, none of the ideas that he came up with for Thunderbird 5 were particularly exciting. Dad wasn't hugely fond of them. But that's, you know, that's all well and, uh, well and good. This slightly uh, latches on to uh, a Thunderbird 6 plot element in that Jeff Tracy says to Brains, I want another Thunderbird, but there's no spec for it. Well, it's a bit like this. There was no particular spec for Thunderbird 5. So, okay. you know, Dad would say, I don't like this, but the, there was no real brief for Derek to latch on to. Yeah. However, eventually, inspiration struck Derek Meddings. Right. It wasn't, though, from any inspiration from a real-life space station or anything spacey or even even based in aviation. Yeah. Instead, he was inspired by architecture. Okay. I say architecture, specifically a building on Tracy Island itself. Oh, uh, right. Think about what's around Tracy Island, obviously the Tracy Villa and the pool and Thunderbird 2's yep. uh, launch bay and uh, the occasionally yeah. rarely used Thunderbird 4 uh, launch ramp and uh, Roundhouse, the thing oh, that Thunderbird yes. 3 launched through. It was a, a, oh, a never yeah. used, well seemingly never used, guest house built above the Thunderbird 3 launch silo. Using that as a template, Derek was finally able to form an idea for the design of Thunderbird 5. Obviously the finished design for Thunderbird 5 has a lot more going on than the Roundhouse did, but clearly they actually just share the, the same basic shape. Yes, so there's actually do. some rather nice visual symmetry with Thunderbird 3's silo being hidden beneath a building that looks like Thunderbird 5 and the fact that Thunderbird 3 connects to Thunderbird 5 yes, when it right. gets up there. So ah. isn't that amazing that you know, he was finding inspiration in real life and real aviation for so many other parts. This, oh, I'm a bit stuck, and it ended up being a building yeah. that inspired a space station. Yeah, no, I thought when you said a building, I was thinking along the lines of the old BBC television centre. Yes, because that's the sort I of wonder, the round. Yeah. I wonder if television centre had any influence on that, or that it was just yeah. the sort of architectural zeitgeist of the 1960s. So, did Derek Meddings design Tracy Island too, as well as the craft? I got a weird feeling that that was more influenced by Bob Bell, I right. think. I don't okay. actually know. Okay. So, mm. Chris Dale, I'm sure you'll correct me, or Podstrons, yeah. you will. Yeah. But uh, it's nice that there's a bit of cross-pollination, and it, it actually kind of makes the whole world a bit more cohesive, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, it's a bit like us, though, isn't it? You know, you say he, <laughs> he uh, designed Thunderbirds 1 to 4, and then was sort of stumped. He ran out of inspiration, didn't know where to look for Thunderbird 5. It's a bit like us having done 126 podcasts. <laughs> and we've got to try and find inspiration for the 127. And where does so that inspiration come from? We, we look at what we've done before and just do that. <laughs> just copy it, yes. Yeah, OK, well, this one's inspired by uh, Pod 29. Uh, yeah. No, I can't remember what happened in that one. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I mean, it's, a bit, it's uh, a bit like, not at all like, the station house in Space Precinct being inspired by Podley's face. Now that is that. <laughs> hang on, is, what? No, that's not true. Uh, it oh, just, but, I mean, it, it just looks be, like I it. Could, I could see that. Yeah. yeah. How interesting. Totally. No, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> there are other things uh, across yeah. Anderson shows and science fiction and just creativity in general where things inspire you unexpectedly. So if you spotted anything else or you know any other items across the Jerry Anderson universe, listeners, that have been inspired by something plain or strange, and that doesn't include the lemon squeezer in Thunderbird 1's launch nope. bay, because that's just a literal usage, yep. Um, yep. do let us know, podcast at jerryanderson.co.uk. 